All right. Hi there. I'm gonna do a little Fitz picture today. Fitz is this little wizard guy that I've drawn a couple times. I feel like I tend to draw him. I don't know. Like emotions are a little lower. He's a. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say morose, but a, a sadder character, I'd say, than Bjorn. Let me get my fountain pen working here. All right. I'd been doing the lettering on the other fit strips with a uh, dip pen. But I found my fountain pen recently. And I was very excited. Pencil the lettering in a little darker than I usually do. Uh oh, getting the railroad. Penciling the letters darker just kind of messes with me visually a little bit. Got a headache today. Hopefully, it'll be cleared up by this afternoon. Trying to stay busy. Oh, didn't need that one there. Yeah. Dang it. Oh well. White out. I don't know why I'm getting so many of those little railroads. Uh, when the pen breaks up, they call that a railroad because it splits into two tracks. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to switch it up to the pen I'm going to actually draw with. I don't know what kind of nib this is, guys. Sorry, people have asked. I, I don't know. It's not what came with it. I do remember that I switched it out at some point, but I don't remember what it was. Kind of a bad artist in that sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on sometimes with the tool. That was my ink. Sorry. Put it on the other side here. <coughs> so that if I drop it, I'm less likely to drop it on the picture. Test scratches there. Um, yeah, so Fitz is a uh, just a little side comic that I wanted to start doing. It came up. Oh, honestly, it came up at a time where I was feeling kind of defeated. I guess he's just a little different than like Bjorn. Well, he's very different than Bjorn. Um, I'd say where I gotta be careful because that ink is still dry, drying up top. Where Bjorn knows that someday he will be great, Fitz has accepted that he will not. <laughs> I 
very much two different thoughts I carry with me, I suppose. I love using a dip pen. Just the roughness of the line. It's so nice. It's so... I don't know. I think a brush can be unpredictable too, but just the way that I use a dip pen, I guess, I always feel a little more... Um, <laughs> doesn't quite listen to me and there's something fun in that getting to be a little rougher with it and just see what happens it's uh yeah it's fun I think if you always know exactly how the picture is going to turn out be kind of boring. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want a level of control, but I don't always need it. And on these, on these Fitz pictures, I decided I was going to not worry about having that. I regret it at times. <laughs> For sure. The line will go down. Not looking great. And it's easy to uh, regret your decisions. But it's funny, I guess, as I'm thinking about it. I've been happy with all of the Fitz pictures that I've done. So I wonder if it helps with um, I won't be happy about an individual line, but it lets you look at the whole picture more. I don't know, like you get to move past individual lines that aren't as good. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, fits. And, uh... Had a lot going on lately. And he's been on my mind. I guess I could say unfortunately so. But, <clears throat> I don't mean that. Like, everything on my mind has not been bad. I don't want it to sound like Fitz is a harbinger of <laughs> doom of some sort. But just when I'm more pensive, I guess, he tends to come up. I'm thinking about what to do with the just sort of the future of what I'm trying to create with Bjorn and, um, I've got some side projects that I want to do and how I want to uh, approach that um, yeah So he was there, he came up. I'm trying to also remember what other videos I've recorded and talked about. Um, all the recordings that I've done lately are for commissions, and I don't want to share any of that until uh, they've gotten out to people. So I'm trying to think about what I've talked about on there. Nah, it doesn't matter. I don't want to be repetitive, but meh. <laughs> um, let's 
so let's see what is going on I started in on the new Bjorn chapters I don't know if I'll ever really share videos of you know I, I do all my initial work digitally So, I don't really have any preliminary stuff to share, pencils or anything like that. So I tend to only really do Bjorn um, inking. But, I should have some inking. Well, I don't, I don't know when. I'm hoping it'll be next couple weeks. Next week, maybe. But, all depends trying to um, get a get the new pencils down get um and the script is nailed like I had it I had it written you know, but like an outline, and the story beats, and that kind of stuff for like the, the more of the story. Like a lot of, you know, the whole thing is kind of written out. So when I say I was writing it, or when I, when I talk about the script, um, I mean kind of the actual like page by page breakdown. Because that I, I do just pretty much before I start in on the chapters. But that came together so well. I was so happy. Um, added something in there that really uh, just made so much sense. Sometimes it's like there's things in the story or in the chapter that aren't positive. You know, you'll know that something is going to happen to move the story in some way and like that's what you know but you don't know what that thing is I guess I don't know how else to explain that on that part. So anyway, the script came together real well. I started putting the panels together for the first few pages. Um, very happy getting to start that. It's always it's always cool starting a new chapter and it's especially cool on this just you know it's taken so long with taking care of Eva and everything. My daughter uh, full time while I was doing um, the first Bjorn book it's taken so long to finish that uh, it's very awesome to like to now get to start this next chapter um, so soon after finishing the first first book first book is all done and, um, but it feels like such a short turnaround by comparison to how long most it took to get from you know point one to point two now it feels like it's such a quick thing it feels good just good momentum um, yeah I wanted to keep that kind of rolling so I'm gonna try try doing a couple things on my Patreon and uh, just in general start trying to promote more um, get folks excited about Bjorn production and making the chapters.
that uh, I'm looking forward to putting up pages as I finish them, putting that up for sale. Thinking about doing some pre sales on pages. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I got the headache today or what, but I uh, feel like some wind has come out of my sails on certain things. So I'll probably, I'll still do it for patrons. And then, uh, you know, I'll go from there. If, if that does well, then I don't need to do it other places. I'm trying to really see what I can push, I guess, as far as... Oh, how to put it? Um, I don't want to do things that take away from what I want to do. Okay? And so... What I mean by that is, I um, I have lots of things that I work on regularly, not lots, but commissions, um, daily drawings, things that I do. Um, because those are the, the kind of freelance things that I do to make money. So selling the, the original art for my daily drawings, taking on commissions, that kind of stuff. Um, but I really want to move forward as quickly as I can. I want to push the limits, I guess on how much uh, how much can I just work on Bjorn I guess that's what it really boils down to like how much can I allow that to be my sole focus um, you know and I <clears throat> I'm all for Hey man, if if there's not a way to do it, um, then it's just what it is. I'm gonna make the story, either way, whatever it takes. That's kind of my baby, you know. And uh, the moment I started it in earnest, I knew that that was gonna be the thing that I was gonna see finished first or only, you know, I mean, I have lots of other stories I'd like to tell, but if I never have time for them, it, there will at least be Bjorn, and uh, it's kind of what I want to see for now, you know, is now a time that I can focus, focus, um, deeply on just that project. I know that I would still, I mean like today I'm, well I guess right now I'm still in kind of commission mode and um, getting uh, other things done, but uh, yeah I just want to see how much can, <laughs> how much can Bjorn take care of himself right now, <laughs> if that's what it is. So that's kind of the big thing going on. And I guess, you know, tying it all together, the wind out of my sails, the maybe even the headache, right? Having fits on my mind. I think it's, uh, yeah, I'm just worried about it. I don't know how it's going to come together. I guess I'm feeling like maybe it won't. And, you know, it's okay. Like, I, I again, it's it's always okay because I know I'm going to do it. You know, and if I get to keep doing art as the thing that makes me the money that we need, um, then that's fantastic. That's great. I mean, if I've got to have a job, I think I'd rather have it be 
drawing, you know, unless it turns into one of those things that, you know, I'm getting tired and jaded from spending my day drawing things just for money, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. I'm not worried about that. Anyway, but yeah, I guess I'd have to admit feelings of defeat. Um, just about the unknown, you know. I think that's normal, but uh, yeah, that's not going to be a, a deal. It's not going to be an issue for me. Uh, I think that comes from sort of having that sense of overall direction, like I know what I'm going to do. You know, hopefully, I know the the grand goal, but uh, as in, or as was the case with kind of stuff I was thinking about. Um, you know, maybe I'm wrong in execution, but. Let's we'll see. Anyway, well, there they are, guys. Still got to pop some white on certain areas, but the nice thing with the dip pen is, well, the thing I like is uh, it lays the ink down so thick. It's like the brush, the ink soaks into the paper so much. I don't know if you can see the reflection. I don't know. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the reflection there. But with the... Uh, with the dip pen, the ink kind of sits on the paper a little bit differently. So, all right. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. Short little talk, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully, you have a good day. Hopefully, you either get a lot accomplished or you get nothing accomplished. Whatever you need today. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here.